Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Ford from TradingWinds.com, and this is our update for June 18th, 2018. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Well, stocks were lower, significantly lower earlier in the day. This, again, on more tensions between uh, U.S. and China on the trade front. But stocks did rally in the afternoon and um, closed mixed overall but made up quite a bit of that loss. The Dow finished lower by 103, but you can see close near the day's high. The S&P 500, it was down just five points. Again, a strong reversal into the afternoon. That looks pretty bullish, looks pretty good. The Nasdaq managed to gain all of that loss back and end up higher by 0.65, while the Russell gained eight and a half points and is now at a new fresh all-time high. So overall, uh, with with the afternoon rally looks pretty good and the rest of the market was fairly quiet bonds were quiet uh, that leaves the yield on the 10-year treasury note at 2.918 uh, gold finished uh, slightly higher up about two dollars and sixty cents while crude oil was also higher but by 0.73 to 73 cents again we're waiting to see what this does at this down sloping 20 the dollar held steady as well now I want to share with you a chart of spotify spotify went public back here uh, in early april and uh kind of went sideways for a while but is now trending strongly now recently it had uh, moved above the may 2nd high retrace now and looks like to be holding support so if we look at this from a technical perspective that's a pretty nice looking pattern first of all we had a bullish engulfing pattern within here it broke that high and went off to new highs it now retraced here and bounced off it again another strong bullish engulfing pattern there which has not triggered yet what we want to see is a break of the highs but now if you look at this and you mark the high and the low of the June 14th bar that's what we would call a multi-day inside bar formation. So as long as the price remains within the high and low of that bar, we should continue sideways here. But the longer it remains in that channel, the bigger the move should be when it does break out. And with this type of momentum behind this move, it is much more likely that we break to the upside than to the downside. So that's what we want to look for. We want to look for a break above the highs. Not interested in this on a break below the lows what that would mean is more of a retracement into this downward sloping 20 or another support level down in here but if we break above the highs there's no overhead resistance those are all-time highs and should continue to run and if we take our Fibonacci extension tool and just take the major low and high the most recent major low and high here um, you know target comes in and around that 200 mark right here 198.25 or so so looking pretty good for a stock with only a history of two and a half months but again keep a, a lookout for a break above the june 14th high that's about it for now enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update